Which camera is better for cinematic type videos, the DJI Osmo Action 4 or the Pocket 3? From my personal experience, the Pocket 3 is definitely the clear winner when it comes to cinematic type videos. However, keep watching because in some cases, the Action 4 is actually better. And if you want to see vlogging comparison, we will leave everything in automatic mode. This is not the video for you. I don't use either of these cameras for vlogging or anything like that. I essentially use them as minimalist cameras to capture the highest quality footage possible by being patient and manually exposing and white balancing my shots which I then tweak in post-production to make it look even better. If you're interested in that then keep watching, if not go watch something else. With that said, let's start with usability. The main usability advantages of the Action form over the Pocket 3 are that it's more compact, being less than half the size of the Pocket 3, which makes mounting the camera in tight spaces much easier for creative shots. Also, it's waterproof and more robust, so you don't have to be as careful with it as you would with the Pocket 3, because the Pocket 3 is essentially a gimbal, which makes it much more fragile. Furthermore, the battery on the Action form is removable, which which is a huge advantage if you need to quickly replace the battery on the go, whereas the battery in the Pocket 3 is built in and non-replaceable, which means it will most likely degrade over time. However, the Pocket 3 can be charged up really fast, it takes about 20 minutes to charge from 0 to 80%, and you can also purchase a battery grip from DJI, Yulanzi, or anywhere else to extend its battery life. Finally, the Action 4 is simply much easier and faster to use because there is no gear you can quickly move the camera in whatever direction you want and from my experience it turns on much quicker allowing you to basically never miss a shot. However even though the Pocket 3 is essentially a gimbal which can be cumbersome in some situations it still has a lot of advantages over the Action 4 in terms of overall usability. First of all it's far more comfortable to hold the grip feels much better especially when positioning the camera at a weird low or high angle. Next the gimbal can be used for creative shots such as tracking and following you around or moving it around with the joystick which helps in framing weird angle shots or creating unique camera movements. For example one of my favorite types of shots with the Pocket 3 is when I walk forward with the camera and push the joystick up at the same time creating a very dynamic movement that is basically impossible to recreate with the Action 4. Also the Pocket 3 can be easily mounted on a compact selfie stick to essentially create Hollywood style crane shots. I have done it a couple of times and the results were amazing. Now let's talk about stabilization which is probably one of the main reasons to get the Pocket Trim over the Action 4 for cinematic type shots. The stabilization on the Action 4 is not bad by any means however if you're like me and always use ND filters to follow the 180 degree shutter rule or if you shoot in low light conditions that require low shutter speeds the Action 4 4 will deliver poor stabilization performance because it relies heavily on high shutter speeds for the best stabilization performance. So basically using low shutter speeds with any action camera is not really a good idea because it will dramatically decrease the stabilization performance. However for the Pocket Trim this is not a problem because it's a mechanical gimbal, it doesn't have any digital stabilization which allows you to set the shutter speed as low as you want and still get stable results. So the gimbal on the Pocket Trim has its pros and cons in terms of usability but overall for cinematic type videos I would choose it any day unless I need a more robust waterproof camera for some reason. Anyway moving on to focus, the focus on the Action 4 is fixed which means you can't change it at all, what you see is what you get. Whereas the Pocket 3 has full focus adjustment system, you can either use autofocus with subject or object tracking which works really well or you can use single point focus and basically tap on the screen where you want the camera to lock focus. For what I do which is basically cinematic type videos and shots, single point focus works really well. I can tap anywhere I want on the screen and the camera will lock focus to that area which prevents the camera from focus hunting and allows me to be more creative with depth of field. I can easily focus on either the background or foreground and create dynamic looking shots which is impossible on the Action 4. So I definitely prefer the focus customization that the Pocket 3 offers. It allows me to be more creative and also more in control of where the 
the camera is focusing. Production form is a bit simple, which might be exactly what you want, but for cinematic type shots, the pocket rim is definitely my choice. Now let's talk about image quality. The image quality on both of these cameras is amazing. Both have very accurate colors straight out of the camera. Both can shoot in D-Log M 10-bit, which delivers slightly wider dynamic range and gives you more flexibility in post-production. And both deliver sharp, clean footage with barely any noise, even when shooting in low light conditions. However, just because I have to pick one over the other, I would definitely choose the Pocket 3 in terms of overall raw image image quality because it has a bigger one inch sensor compared to the one over one three inch sensor on the action form which provides a wider dynamic range slightly better low light performance and shallower depth of field honestly even though the pocket 3 has a slightly bigger sensor than the action 4 the difference between these cameras in terms of overall image quality is negligible i think both of them are amazing when it comes to image quality and yes the pocket 3 is better overall but the image quality on the action 4 is not bad by any means it's still an outstanding camera when it comes to overall image quality however we will definitely see a difference between these cameras is in the field of view even when the action 4 is set to its narrowest field of view standard it's still slightly wider than the pocket 3's field of view which makes the shots look a bit more distorted it's not too bad and you might prefer the slightly wider field of view of the action 4 but if you like normal looking field of view normal looking focal length basically then the pocket 3 is definitely the better choice also if you plan to use either of these cameras for something like talking head videos or overhead videos then the pocket 3 is also a better choice because of the more natural looking field of view to summarize both cameras are fantastic but the pocket 3 is the better compact cinematic camera in my opinion it has better overall image quality works better with ND filters or in low light has a more more natural field of view and you can be more creative with it by playing with the focus or joystick however the action 4 really comes close in terms of overall performance to the pocket 3 and i would definitely pick it up over the pocket 3 if i needed something more robust waterproof simple to use and compact i think the best option is actually having both of these cameras because they complement each other really well that way you can use the pocket 3 for cinematic type videos and then you can have the action 4 as a backup slash action camera for when the weather goes south, raining, snowing, etc. However, since this is a comparison video, I have to choose one camera over the other and my choice would definitely be the pocket 3 but if you're mainly doing action sports or anything that requires a robust camera definitely go with the action 4 it's a much better choice for these type of videos and things it's just that if you're doing something like i do cinematic type of videos and stuff the pocket 3 works better anyway let me know also down below if you have any questions or comments and whatnot and i guess i'll see you again soon thanks for watching